Even those of you on your cell phones. Yeah, even those of you on your cell phones. Yeah. You don't need any closer notes. I'm not going to get in front of the film. No. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm going to have. Be quiet. All right, excellent. So this is you, right? Basically. And it turns out that you are in equilibrium, right? Because right now you're standing, you're not falling into the ground, the ground's not coming up at you, right? Your weight, MG, is going down, normal force coming up. Fine, right? No problem. So the next thing I want you guys to do is to twist. So your feet are made fixed, right? You have this little fixed point at the bottom. You become like a tall collar. And you twist. Yeah? Your arms will be out of your <laughs> All right, quiet right, again, please. So you'll notice as you twist, which part moves the most from its original place? Shoulders. Shoulders, okay. Why is that? Okay, and which part is not really moving? Feet. Feet. Okay, Carla, are you turning around the central point? Yeah. What is that central point? Your center line. Your center line, okay. For our purposes, let's call it the spine, okay? <laughs> so this is just a little cross section of your spine. This big diagram over here, that's a section of your lumbar vertebrae. So this is the part of your lower back that actually bears most of the weight. And so you'll see it's kind of a constant cross section, right? It's pretty circular. Those other pointy things coming off the back are more to support like your spinal cord, these tiny little muscles that help you stay up. But the idea is we can twist pretty nicely around our spine, right? Because it is designed in such a way to facilitate that. We can twist, it's okay, you can go side to side. You feel the displacement of your shoulders, of your legs, while your feet are fixed. Okay. This is another idea of that constant cross section. This is the spine right at the very center. This is kind of cool actually. It's like if you were cut right here, this is what you would look like. And so you can see you're twisting around the center. And that's why you can do it, because it's pretty constant, no big deal. Okay, next, we're gonna look at the knee joint. So now you can take one knee out and just play with pivoting, right? No, I can't do that. You can even take a moment, do you wanna take all your weight, quiet please? All right, if you wanna take all your weight on one foot and try to twist, see what it feels like. Oh, MCL. Ah. I know, I'm sorry. I know, okay. this is good. <laughs>